We've all seen this pivotal scene from The Matrix, where Morpheus gives Neo a critical decision. Taking the blue pill means living in blissful ignorance, but taking the red pill brings the truth, however far down the rabbit hole it goes. This scene is eerily both prescient and timely considering the world we are living in. The mainstream media has given us a lot of blue pills. For instance, CBS cooked up a goose of a coronavirus testing line. NBC edited Bill Barr's words to make him look bad. ABC killed Amy Robach's Jeffrey Epstein research and story. And CNN reporters have had to resign over false stories. Isn't it interesting that they all share a problem with the truth? Elon Musk recently posted a tweet that reads, take the red pill. This comes on the heels of him threatening to leave California over Gavin Newsom's draconian quarantine regulations that have punted the lockdown well into August. John Cooper of Team Joe Biden tweeted back to him, take the red pill and shove it, Elon. That's interesting, coming from the campaign of a candidate who has some serious sexual harassment allegations to face. The truth hurts, but it can't be escaped. Both Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump have chimed in, welcoming Musk to the red pill society, if you will, where eyes are wide open. So what is the red pill? It's truth unfettered and sometimes unpleasant. It's researching news for yourself and not taking everything you read or hear as gospel. It's realizing that more often than not, you've been lied to at the highest levels of media and government. As we see the optimism of the president recently and his party with respect to reopening America, we see the 180 degree difference of the Democratic Party and its continued efforts to keep people shut in their homes, even though people are still getting infected with COVID-19 by being shut indoors. To red pill someone means to awaken them. To blue pill someone means to place them back in ignorant oblivion. We are already seeing an exodus of people from New York City, so there are some red pills being taken. Blue pillars such as Governor Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan, LA Mayor Eric Garcetti, and others remain blissfully ignorant and totalitarian. Even the president himself seems to have taken the red pill with respect to the World Health Organization and Chinese Communist Party malfeasance and blunders. And as red states have begun reopening their doors and businesses, blue states remain locked tight as a jar. Looking at Elon Musk's tweet is kind of a case study in how Americans' bias is confirmed. Most conservatives share Musk's optimism and quest for awakening, and most liberals condemn his red pill and vilify him, all for seeking truth. The media has also been a major factor in this, shielding our eyes from real information and ridiculing anyone who dares goes against the grain. The ironic thing is, all Musk said was, take the red pill. He didn't say MAGA, he didn't say Trump 2020. He's after truth and information, common sense, awakening, rather than the daily beatdown of one-sided information we are receiving. Why would anyone trust so-called experts who have been consistently wrong? Can you blame Elon Musk for having a clairvoyant approach to his business and his life? Red pilling is hearing all sides. Blue pilling is accepting one side without hesitation. To take the blue pill means to accept that bureaucrats have your best interest at heart, that you should stay at home till 2021 or longer, that Andrew Cuomo didn't make a mistake by sending infected patients to nursing homes, that we have to stay closed until we have a vaccine, whenever that is, that Americans can and should be jailed for disobeying stay-at-home orders and not wearing masks, that you should never question the algorithms that Facebook and YouTube use. Taking the red pill is quite different. It's learning that the media has made major mistakes in their reporting, and that's been intentional. It's learning that this same media is run mostly by members of one ideology. The red pill opens your eyes to the deleterious effects of globalism and communism, of coup attempts to undo a democratic election. It alerts you to propaganda, big tech censorship, and abridgment of freedoms. It means not confirming your own bias. It means weighing benefits of resuming a right to life, liberty, and happiness over the fear of fear itself. So how do you take a red pill? Well, it's as much of an individual liberty as the country allows. It's a personal choice. You can choose to live in ignorance, or you can choose to live in the quest for truth. All this time during this quarantine should give people ample opportunity to reflect upon which pill they will choose to take. Remember, all that's being offered is the truth, nothing more. Which pill will you take? The red pill or the blue pill?